Hi everyone, it's Agnes. I'm going to read that story that I mentioned in yesterday's YouTube about that woman that wanted to manifest multiple things in continuation from the view of question from V. So it goes like this. It's from The Law and the Promise by Neville and it's chapter 7. It's from Moods. Most of us read and love fairy tale stories, but we all know that stories of improbable riches and good fortune are for the delight of the very young. But are they? I want to tell you of something unbelievably wonderful that happened to me through the power of my imagination and I am not young in years. We live in an age where beliefs is in neither fable nor magic and yet everything I could possibly want in my wildest day, dreams, was given to me by the simple use of what you teach, that imagining creates reality and that feeling is the secret of imagining. At the time of this wonderful thing happening to me, I was out of a job, I had no family to fall back upon for support, I needed just about everything. To find a decent job I needed a car to look for it and though I had a car it was so worn out it was ready to fall apart. I was behind in my rent, I had no proper clothes to seek a job and today's and today it's no fun for a woman of 55 to apply for a job of any kind. My bank account was almost depleted and there was no friend to whom I could turn. But I had been attending your lectures for almost a year and in my desperation forced me to put my imagination to the test. Indeed, I had nothing to lose. It was natural for me, I suppose, to begin by imagining myself having everything I needed. But I needed so many things and in such short order that I found myself exhausted when I finally got through the list. And by that time I was so nervous I couldn't sleep. One lecture night I heard you tell of an artist who had captured the feeling or the word as you called it of isn't it wonderful in his personal experience. I began to apply this idea to my case. Instead of thinking of and imagining every article I needed I tried to capture the feeling that something wonderful was happening to me now. Not tomorrow, not next week but right now. I would say over and over to myself as I fell asleep, isn't it wonderful? Something marvelous is happening to me now. And as I fell asleep, I would feel the way I would expect to feel under such circumstances. I repeated that imaginary action and feeling for two months, night after night. And one day in early October, I met a casual friend I hadn't seen for months who informed me he was about to leave on a trip to New York. I had lived in New York many years ago and we talked of the city a few moments and then parted. I completely forgot the incident. One month later to the day, this man called my apartment and simply handed me a certified check in my name for $2,500. <sighs> After I got over the initial shock of seeing my name on a check for so much money, that story that unfolded seemed to me like a dream. It concerned a friend I had not seen or heard from in more than 25 years. This friend of my past, I now learned, had become extremely wealthy in those 25 years. Our mutual acquaintance who had brought the check to me had met him quite by accident during the trip to New York last month. During their conversation, they had spoken of me, and for reasons I was not to know, for to this day I have not heard from him personally and had never attempted to contact him. This old friend decided to share a portion of his great wealth with me. For the next two years from the office of his attorney I received monthly checks so generous in amount that they not only covered every necessary requirement of daily living but left much left over for all the lovely things of life. A car, clothes, a spacious apartment and best of all no need to earn my daily bread. This past month I received a letter and some legal papers to be signed which provide the continuation of this monthly income for the rest of of my natural life. TK. So if the fool would persist in his folly he would become wise. Wow. So brilliant. That's one of the many brilliant stories from The Law and the Promise which is the book that really changed my life to start applying and changing my thoughts, feelings, my imaginal scenes, my beliefs. So 
yeah, I wanted to share that because it really linked in with V, what you asked yesterday about all those different things you wanted to manifest and can you manifest multiple things at once. Also, another viewer, RJ, has sent me a fantastic YouTube by Lisa Nichols. She was in The Secret and she's done a fantastic YouTube that I will put the link down below for you to have a look at as well. Lots of love. Talk to you soon.